This video is going to take you through the roles and processes exam style questions. So this covers both uh, the roles and processes such as labelling and um, integral um, groupings, but also looks at subcultures and pupil identities as well. So we've got a 10 mark question with item that we'll go through as well as a 30 mark relative importance question. So we'll start with the 10 mark with item. And as ever, we'll go through the, the process of deconstructing the question, identifying the possible answers, looking for hooks in the item, and then go through a model paragraph. So deconstructing the question, we've done this a lot already, but it's always a good idea to do this just to remind us of what we're looking for so that we can answer the question clearly and um, on point. So in terms of our command word, our command words are apply and analyze. Okay. Meaning that we have to use the material from the item. It has to be done explicitly and it has to be done appropriately. And that's where the analyse comes in. It's not good enough just to identify the criticisms and chuck something in from the item with the hope that it will be relevant. It does have to be appropriate and it does have to show that you have analysed the item. You're not using it for comprehension. Our topic then is roles and processes slightly obvious considering um, this is oops, um, the area and our focus is criticisms okay because it isn't that made clear here and setting and streaming okay so we are looking at the criticisms of setting and streaming in school. Now, labelling may come into this as part of our answer, but it's not going to be the main focus. It, we need to keep it um, focused on the criticisms of setting and streaming. Why is setting and streaming a bad thing, even though school, most schools still do it? Okay. So our next stage then is to identify the possible answers. So I'm going to give you two. Um, and then you're going to go away and come up with your own. So the two I'm going to give is that it limits opportunities and it co is caused by an ethnocentric curriculum. So what we're saying here is that by setting and streaming students, we are limiting their opportunities to show their attainment level um, or the, their possible um, attainments. But um, what we're also saying is that setting and streaming is caused by an ethnocentric curriculum which disadvantages ethnic minority students who tend to be put into lower sets and streams, possibly due to them not being able to access or connect with the curriculum that is being taught. So I've identified two, you'll identify another couple of answers, but let's see if we can look to see how it links the item. So we're looking for the hooks in the item. So here's our item and we want to see which of our points actually links in. So if we're looking at um, limited opportunities, what we could talk about here is um, children are taught in similar groups, uh, groups of similar ability. Okay, now we can link it there because the um, we're not looking for comprehension, we're not looking for the item to tell us the answer, but by being taught in groups of similar ability, the students are limited to um, the highest level of that group. They're not necessarily given the same opportunities to shine, to achieve top grades, maybe through tiered examinations, then um, it, when they're taught in groups of similar ability. So we've got, um, there's nothing really in the item that um, links to the ethnic centric curriculum. So we wouldn't be able to use that point in our answer. So your task now is to pause the video, 
see if you can come up with a couple more answer points and then link them to the hooks look for hooks in the item so you may come up with points that don't have hooks to the item and that's fine because we look for we identify points first we look for hooks second So our next stage then is to write the model paragraph and the structure for a 10 marker with item as we've gone through before there is no introduction there is no conclusion and there is no evaluation so what you are being asked to do is identify explain link and apply okay so we've put the apply to the side because we are putting it where it fits it might fit in the part where you're identifying it might part fit in your explanation but either way we go where it fits so here's my model answer or my 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 example i should say um and what you can see is i started off very clearly identifying the criticism so I'm using that um, criticism of limiting opportunities for those in lower sets or strings. I've then clearly linked it to the item because I've used that term as the item shows. So by using that term, that phrase, I am clearly saying to the examiner, this information is coming from the item. It's not my own knowledge because they're not, you're not being asked for that in this question. You are being asked for information to analyze the item so i've made it very clear by using this phrase i am taking from the item but then i go into my explanation okay and i get second application because i have used an example okay Remember, application isn't just about the item. It can be examples, it can be sociologists, studies, etc. Okay, but in my explanation, I am being very clear um, in this section how the setting and streaming, is, um, sorry, the limiting of opportunities is a negative of setting and streaming. That, um, we are not giving opportunities to show what they can achieve. They're being told what's the limit of their achievement, particularly through tiered groups. For example, if you're in a foundation paper, maybe you can only get as high as a five. Um, if you're in a higher paper, you can't get lower than a five. So it is really showing that limitation. Okay. So again, pause the video here to complete the remainder of your plan and come up with a paragraph but using a different point to the one i have so you can't use limiting opportunities you need to come up with your own um alternative second paragraph essentially so i'm doing you first you can you are now going to go and do your second okay next up is our essay question and just with essay questions previously what we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct the question making sure that you're clear on what you're being asked to do how you know it's a relative importance question and what your evaluation is going to look like then we're going to look at context so our opening to our paragraph whether it's de definition background or trend then our content points link those points to the item now again it's important that you do this because the question does say that we have to use the item explicitly and doing it on your plan makes it so much easier than trying to do it in um just in your paragraph um and then finally coming to an answer so let's start with the deconstruction of the question so again we're looking our command words are the same as they always are in in um essays apply so use the quite use the item and evaluate okay and as this is a relative importance question our evaluation isn't yes or no it's not binary it's actually more mono answer and i've probably made up a term there but never mind um meaning that you have to decide which you have to look at multiple um 
explanations, causes, factors, whatever, and come up with the, or decide which one you think is the best one. Okay, so rather than it being binary, yes or no, which is the best? Quite simply. Our topic again, roles and processes. Okay, but our focus here is education impact on educational achievement. Okay. okay, we are being asked to evaluate how the different ways in which the um, roles and processes in the schools can impact or influence educational achievement of pupils. And we know it is a relative importance question because the STEM set, we've got the STEM of sociological explanations, evaluate sociological explanations. So that is the bit that tells us that it is a relative importance question. So essentially what we're being asked here is to identify the various ways in which roles and processes can influence um, educational achievement and say which one has the most impact, okay? So that leads us on to our next step, which is identifying the context. Now we've talked about this a lot in the past in terms of the three types of context and the importance of getting your context right. The context opens the essay to the examiner. It shows the examiner you know what you're talking about and puts them in the mood to know that you are going to be writing about what they want you to write about and not something completely random um, or verbal vomiting. So with this question, our area of education is roles and processes. So we're going to have to do a definition, okay? Because anyone outside of education is not going to know what we mean by roles and processes in schools. So our context is answering the question, what is meant by roles and processes in schools? Okay. So it, here we're talking about the procedures, the way that the school works, and how that influences educational achievement. The next stage then is to identify our content points. Now, unlike an argument essay where we will be looking at statements of why, why he will come to your answer, why it's good, why it's bad, why it's useful, why it's not, etc., etc., what we would actually be doing here is identifying the explanations, identifying what it is, what it is within the roles and processes of schools that influence educational achievement. So, for example, one of them could be the setting and streaming, limiting opportunities. Another one could be labelling leading to the self-fulfilling prophecy. So that rather than a why here, we are looking for a what. What are the sociological explanations for how roles and processes uh, within schools influence educational achievement of pupils? OK, so why rather than what? Now, when you have identified your possible answers, as a 30 marker, you are going to need four minimum for your answer. We then go to the item and look for hooks in the item. So again, we can look, see here, if we're looking at setting and streaming limits opportunities, we can talk about um, process of classification by teachers, um, shown to affect the performance of teachers, um, and the labelling and self-fulfilling prophecy. We can talk, we can use this element here, this labelling and other processes within schools influence who succeeds and who fails. So we've got two there that, that utilise the item. Um, and remember, you are going to need to have at least one point that doesn't utilise the item in order to show your own knowledge, not just use of the item. So we've got two points there. So we then move on to deciding your answer. Now, in an argument essay, you do your train of reasoning conversation and show uh, you would just decide from the binary. What we do with a relative importance question is we do a filter. And this is a bit of kind of narrowing down which is the best um, argument. 
So we start off with our four possible answers on the top of our filter sheets. We then decide which one we think is the least influential, which of the four arguments that we are going to discuss has the least impact on educational achievement. And we get rid of it. So we end up with three items. And again, for two, and then down to one, and that one would be our answer to the question, the one, the, the explanation, the role or process or that influences the educational achievement of students most. Now, when you are going down, when you are moving from um, here to here, you do need to explain why. Okay, why is it that you have dropped one of the um, explanations? What, and that is going to be part of your evaluation. So it's not just about going, kind of immediately going, well, this is the most important. You need to have that reasoning, that chain of reasoning to an extent where you're explaining, well, I'm dropping this one because, and I'm dropping this one because, okay? Now, I'm not gonna fill out this filter sheet because I don't want to tell you what the answer is. You need to determine that for yourself. Any of the four that you have come up with can be the answer, okay? So pause the video here, finish off the um, essay plan and complete the filter sheet to um, determine your answer on for this question. So we've now got our plan, we know what we're talking about, we know what our answer is going to be, we know what we're being asked to do. So we need to think about our introduction. Now this is exactly the same or very much similar to the um, introductions you do for an argument essay. You're still going to do your context, showing the examiner what the question is about. In this came, case, as we've already predetermined, what we mean by roles and processes in education. So we're looking at oops, the definition. Okay. We then have our content. And for content, we are talking about the explanations you are going to discuss. There are more than four explanations. So we, you need to, you've already determined which of the four you are going to discuss. So which of the pro roles and processes are you going to talk about in your essay? Um, and you just identify them, okay? So this is identification, not explanation, okay? You do not need to have any explanation in your introduction. You are just outlining your essay to the examiner. And then finally, you have your answer. And again, it's about clearly stating your answer to the question using the terms of the question. This will ensure that you are answering the question that the examiner has set you and not the question that you want it to be. OK, so I'm not going to write an introduction for you, a model introduction for you, because that would give away the um, my answer to the question. And I want to see what your answer is. We've also done this a lot in class. So it's, it's an opportunity for you to show me that you've understood and you know what I'm asking you to do. OK. Now, when it comes to your main body paragraphs, this is, again, it's similar to what we've already done in an argument essay, but there's slight changes and slight nuances that make it a relative importance question. So first of all, instead of a why, you're going to have a what. What is the point you are going to discuss? Which of the explanations, the factors, the reasons, the causes are you going to discuss? Okay. Then you're going to explain how this influences educational achievement. How does this point, this explanation, this reason, this factor, this um, idea affect educational achievement? Now, it's important that you remember that part. That you remember you are talking about influences on achievement. So you're not just describing the role of process. 
you have to show how it influences educational achievement, both positively and negatively, because it's not the same, just negatively. Then you need to give a criticism. So what are the issues with this factor? How do we know that this isn't the only explanation? How is it that we know that there are more explanations than just this one? Your link for this style of question, your link is actually really important. This is an essential part of your paragraph because it's where you kind of say why it is the best or why it's not the best. OK, which kind of brings in a bit of evaluation. Yeah, but the main part of it is kind of restating that idea of this is the best. This is my answer. This is the best one or this is important. But it's not the best. It's not the one. OK. And again, you've got your application where we're talking about sociologists, the item examples, studies, etc. Every paragraph must have some form of application. OK, so let's have a look at my model um, practice example paragraph, whatever you want to call it. So I've very clearly shown um, in my first sentence that I am talking about in school groupings. OK, so that is my identification. And I've kind of expanded on it a little bit by, talk by showing that I'm talking about setting and streaming. OK, I've also got some application there um, in by immediately talking about the item and showing the item um, that shows the process of classification can affect performance as it but I'm then developing it. And this is my um, explanation. I'm developing it by talking about how it can limit the opportunities for students to show what they're capable of through tiered exam papers um, or the content that's covered. It might be that they don't do certain things or don't cover certain content because it's been too too much for them. OK, but also I've linked it to. Um, oops, I've then on, gone on to link it to self-fulfilling prophecy um, where the student sees themselves as either skilled in a particular subject area or not skilled, um, showing that setting and streaming has an influence on both the negative side of achievement, so underachievement, but can also lead to um, higher attainment and, and actual achievement. Because people who are in higher sets might see themselves as more able, so they put more effort in, or, or they, they're, they're more confident in the subject. Um, I've then gone into my um, evaluation. Um, here, however, the placing of students in set is often to labeling as um, as much as ability, meaning that the label is more important than the explanation. So here, my the my evaluation and my link I've joined together. Okay, now that's not going to work for every paragraph, but it works for this one. So we we, we can do that. And remembering we are under time limits, so if it's possible to do it, do it. Okay. So now your task is to ensure that the plan in your ISB is fully complete, that you've written your introduction and a first paragraph using a different point. OK, so you can't use. Um, setting and streaming, you have to use a different point from the example to show um, your understanding of this question. 